Today we will talk about nausea and vomiting. When a patient complains of nausea and vomiting, you should first give an antacid and an antiemetic drug for symptomatic relief. Give 2 to 3 teaspoonfuls of an antacid like digin and one tablet of perinom or reglan that is metoclopramide. You may also give a tablet of ondansetron 4 mg specially if the patient is sensitive to metoclopramide. However, if vomiting is active, the patient may vomit out the medicines. So if vomiting is predominant, give injectable drugs. Give injection reglan or perinom 2cc IM or IV or injection emiset that is ondansetron 8 mg IM or IV. In more severe cases of vomiting, the same injections may be given intravenously that is injection reglan or injection emiset IV followed by IV fluids to prevent dehydration. Along with this symptomatic treatment, give injection of ranitidine or omeprazole IV to control acidity and domperidone 10 mg TDS to regulate gastric motility. Now when a patient comes complaining of nausea and vomiting, what do we look for in the patient? The most common cause of nausea and vomiting is indigestion, hyperacidity and gastritis. So ask history of eating outside food or roadside food or eating any different food where food poisoning might have occurred. Then is there associated fever? Fever suggests infection and the common infections which give rise to vomiting are infective hepatitis and rarely meningitis. So you must look at the sclera for icterus and ask whether the urine is dark yellow or reddish, palpate for tender liver to rule out infective hepatitis. Also, ask history of headache and test for neck stiffness to rule out meningitis. Then you must palpate the abdomen, look for distension of abdomen, tenderness and ask about abdominal pain. This is to rule out acute abdomen and intestinal obstruction. If vomiting is green, that is bile colored or feculent, then there must be an intestinal obstruction distally. Lastly, if the patient is a young female in childbearing age, ask if she is pregnant, ask the menstrual history carefully. Now, which is the best drug to control vomiting? Injection Sequil, that is Promethazine, is the most effective drug. But nowadays, it is used less frequently due to higher incidence of extrapyramidal side effects. Injection Sequil 2cc IM or IV will control vomiting very effectively. But it will also cause sedation. So in general practice, where the patient has to go back home or go to work, it is less frequently used. But injection Perinom and injection Emiset are to be used more commonly. Of course, perinom also causes extrapyramidal side effects, but less frequently. Now, what are these extrapyramidal side effects? The patient involuntarily turns up the eyeballs or makes abnormal facial movement or there is pulling of the tongue inside or turning of the neck to one side. These abnormal positions persist for several minutes and the patient cannot correct them. These are all harmless but cause a lot of anxiety to the patient and the relatives, especially because the face remains distorted. You must assure them that it is harmless and give two tablets of Pacitane and one tablet of Campos. Intravenous Campos that is diazepam will relieve the spasm more quickly. So it is always better to have a few tablets of Pacitane in stock when in your practice you use injection of Perinom or Sequil or Stematil. Ondansetron does not have this reaction.
Now lastly, I will tell you some pitfalls. With careful history taking, you should differentiate cases of esophageal regurgitation. If the food is vomited immediately after swallowing and every time on swallowing, then a lower esophageal obstruction is more likely. These patients and also the patients of pyloric stenosis usually do not have nausea, they suddenly vomit. Cases with green vomit with abdominal distension should always be taken seriously because it suggests intestinal obstruction or peritonitis. To summarize this lecture, when a patient complains of nausea and vomiting, give an antacid, tablet or injection of either perinom or ondansetron, acyloc or omes and domperidon. Look for jaundice, look for fever, headache, abdominal pain and tender hepatomegaly. Be careful if there is repeated vomiting, green colored vomiting, colicky abdominal pain or abdominal distension. And if it is associated with severe headache, keep in mind meningitis.